Good morning, Meshack. It's Tuesday, June 15th, and today I'm a little bit sad. It's the first day since last Thursday that Sarah hasn't been in Chicago, and so I'm feeling a little bit alone. But it was a really, really fun trip, and we're hoping that we can make another one happen soon. Today, Meshack, I wanted to take a look back into the past at a book that I started writing during my senior year of high school. I never ended up finishing the book, but I've been reading back through it over the past couple of days, and I think there's a lot of promise in it. Maybe for fun, I'll make my next writing project to go back and rehab this kind of terrible book. In the meantime, I want to read you a passage from it, a passage which reminded me that this piece of writing might actually be redeemable. It goes like this. I had always been fascinated by rain. People say it's raining cats and dogs, as if that's insane, as if that image is absurd. It is absurd, but so too is just regular rain. Cats and dogs falling from the sky seems hilarious, but water, no one gives a shit about water falling from the sky. That's just rain. No one ever takes a minute to think, water is falling out of the fucking sky, even though that's exactly what's happening. Imagine coming from a planet where it didn't rain. And then one day, while you're on Earth, the whole world darkens as an enormous swirl of gray blackens everything above you. Imagine the horror you might experience as you felt your skin get wet, and at first not knowing where it came from. Imagine suddenly realizing that it was water falling from the sky, pelting you with millions of little droplets. Imagine that the dark sky which initially horrified you now exploded in light randomly and struck the ground around you. Imagine the growl of the universe which you might hear if you didn't know what you were hearing was thunder. I shivered. Maybe that's why God exists, I thought. Maybe before we understood charges and electricity, we understood the power of lightning, the power which we saw in our leaders and in our warriors. Maybe God is a product of our understanding that the might of a lightning bolt is greater than the might of any man. Maybe we heard the voice of God in the all-encompassing sound of thunder. Maybe we thought that he was mad at us and was screaming at us and punishing us by taking our son away. Maybe we saw that even as he screamed, as he threw a tantrum, as he was smiting the earth, he was blessing us still, forgiving us still with the water which would grow our crops. I think people could learn a lot about religion from rain. It's not fantastic, but it is something to work with. Meshach, I'll see you tomorrow.